right, I hope it's working. Um, it's uh, eight o'clock and it's time for the film club, for the Science Film Cinema Club. Um, but because of the pandemic, obviously um, the cinema is closed. And for those who are familiar with it, this is the library where people come in and gather for the film club. And usually this on Tuesday evening is full of people. Um, but tonight there is no one. It's empty. Um, we're not alone in this. All, uh, all the public places in London are closed and so are all the public places, most of the world in fact. However, it's 8 o'clock and we are nevertheless going to uh, take you to um, the cinema. For those of you who've never been here before, Sense Film is a workplace, it's a studio and uh, we open our doors every Tuesday night to uh, share a film with uh, our film club members. Um, we, our main business is actually making costumes. Here's one costume that we made for our film, uh, The Good Soldier Schweik, which um, I invite you to come and see sometime when uh, we reopen. This is the poster for The Good Soldier Schweik. Unfortunately, we've had to cancel all those screenings. Uh, which is uh, heartbreaking, but there you are. Um, this is, we're going to go to the cinema. And here is our screening room. As you see, it's totally empty, as there is no one here tonight, um, which makes it very weird for me. Uh, which is why I've decided to do this streaming, which is totally against my grain, to talk to a camera, and I don't even know whether it's working, but anyway. And this is the screening, uh, the screen on which we show our films. Um, but not tonight. Tonight I will show you the studio as an empty place, and then I'll show you a little something. Um, so there is another view of our cinema, empty tonight, but uh, ready for uh, reopening as soon as the pandemic is over. Let me take you upstairs because Sense Films is above all a workplace. It's a film studio and in, uh, in, on the stage we've been making films and recording and now having embraced modern technology we are actually able to do um, streaming and like I'm doing now, or trying to anyway, um, and doing live uh, performance. To do. And this is our little stage and theatre. Again, it's all empty tonight. Like all public place in London, all of and all over the world. Um, We've, we did do a stream, uh, a live stream here um, last Sunday uh, using this piano and using uh, those cameras. I don't know if you can see them. Uh, we've got a whole set of HD cameras which are controlled from a little room at the back. And those cameras allows us to cut um, during uh, the performance, there's another of those cameras here. There you go. And there's the stage, which is um, where people uh, can sit if we have a live performance. But it doesn't have to be a live performance. It can be a performance just on the stage here, which is recorded and streamed from here. This is the sign of the Vortex Jazz Club, uh, which uh, was at the background of the, of the stream, the concert we did last week. And we hope that this will lead to a collaboration with them. Uh, and for that matter, with other uh, performing groups and other clubs and other theatre companies to use our facility 
to um, reach their audience wherever that audience is. Um, I'm going to show you something because um, one of the things about this um, pandemic, one thing which was extraordinary is that our Prime Minister did the same as what I'm doing now. On Sunday, he was uh, using a um, piece of equipment like I am now to talk to the nation. And he said something extraordinary. He said, he said that uh, the one thing that the um, virus had proven is that there is such a thing as a society, which is a, quite a statement um, coming from, uh, from him. Um, there is such a thing as a society. That's absolutely true. And in fact, um, there is... I would add something else to this, is that with society, there is also uh, an element of responsibility that each of us have as a um, citizen. We're not just part of a society, we also are responsible, responsible within that society. And of course that was very much at the heart of um, one of the films that we did which is an adaptation of um, Charles Dickens' Little Dorrit. At the centre of Little Dorrit's novel, the, one of the big subjects is the sense of responsibilities and, you know, in whose fault is it? Um, so what I thought I'd do is I'll take you into this room, where, which is the nerve centre of the streaming and all the computers and all the gizmos that makes it possible for me to do what I'm doing now. And I'm going to use this piece of equipment to stream to you um, the trailer of Little Dorrit to remind you. So there's a film that we made uh, in the 80s, late 80s. And I'm going to show it to you now if I um, work out exactly which button to press. Uh, so I'll do it now. For the first time on the screen, a story told in two films. The life of Arthur Clennam. Derek Jacobi is Arthur Clennam. What's that, little mother? I've seen the life of Amy Dorrit. I don't know. Sarah Pickering is Little Dorrit. I'm the only child of parents who weighed, measured, and priced everything. I was born here. I've known numbers of good, honest people come here. I beg your pardon. What is this place? The marshal, see. The debtor's prison. Yes. Sir. Walter is intercepting the fun. Will they say that was the father of the marshal, see, oh. God? Is there any left? Fifteen. Seventeen and a half. Uh, management, I have so much abuse. I must have legal help. Two stories. Two lives. In the noisy, eager, busy London of Dickens time. I have a back drawing room. But there is a back drawing room still upon the first floor to confirm my word. When you came in, and to say that anyone that interests Arthur Clennam half as much, I must interest. Who is it? The gypsy. Fortune teller. People who come here desire to offer some little testimonial to the father of the place. I've been trying half the day to remember the name of the gentleman. You know, I don't remember. I mean the gentleman who did that handsome action with so much delicacy. Two stories, two lives. Do not forget. Two ways of looking and understanding. Do not forget. It's nobody's fault. Derek no Jacobi. Him, it was everybody's fault. Sarah Pickering. It was at Mr. Myrtle's house. Alec Guinness. The share of the plumbing. Cyril Cusack. And Joan Greenwood. Bring me Max Wall. The investments. Roshan Sen. Do you honestly can, sir. Do you, do you... Miriam Margulies. Goat! Patricia Hayes. Quite different. Eleanor Braun. Amelda Quite Brown. Different. 
Daniel Chatter, say I hoped you Richard well. Stern, Edward Byrne, Roger Hunt, Michael L. Bill Frank, Eric Franz, Ryan Petter, Ruth Mitchell, Liz Smith, Celia Bannon, Christopher Williams, Robert Morley, Sophie Wolf, Hefcott Williams, Ian Hogg, John Hardy, Murray Mel, Julia Lamb, Molly Moore, John McKenna, Howard Grimm, Torrance, Simon Dorian, Quirk, David Dorian, Ken Morley, Kate Rosalie Crutch, Fred Bowen, John Savage, Tony J, Christopher Hanna, Harold Innes, Michael Meir, David Cullen, Stanley Lord, Darlene Robert Robert Mellon. is, all things considered, very good blows over the Surrey Hills, over the Surrey Hills. Those who are habituated to the Marshalsea Robert, are pleased Jones, to call Ed, me Jonathan Jonathan Bart, Ryan Arthur Blake, Trevor James Coyne, Betty Jackson, Jack Gideon, Right, I think I'm back on. That was the trailer of Little Dorrit. Um, if you haven't seen it since I can't show it uh, the film club uh, is closed in any case the film is six hour long and it's, it's it would be too long for the film club if you if you want to see it do go on our website uh, www.sandsfilms.co.uk look out for the shop and buy the DVD um, we will send it to you straight away it will provide a little bit of money for us and we will send it to you straight away um, there are other DVDs there, um, other films that we made and films that we've shown sometimes at a film club and things like that. Um, I think there is one copy left of The Spirit of 45, the Ken Loach film, which uh, if you haven't seen it, fight to buy this DVD. The, CV the DVD is actually seven hours long because there's all the interviews on there as well. So uh, whoever is going to buy the last copies will be lucky. Um, and um, next week we'll try and do something maybe more constructive than this impromptu video. Um, this was just a, in a way an experiment and it was um, done because we felt the urge rather than to be silent. And, um, and uh, it was the opportunity to remind you about Little Dorrit. <laughs> so there you are. Thank you very much. See you next week. See you after the, this awful pandemic and um, keep well, keep safe. Bye-bye.